and welcome to the new video. In today's video we have Gigabyte RX 570 gaming graphics card with 4 gigabytes of VRAM. What are we doing with this graphics card? Uh, it is slightly overheating so we are going to change thermal paste to clean the heatsink, clean fans and that's it. So stay tuned and enjoy in the video. So first we could clean for a bit this back side. All right, so we are going to start with these two screws. I have never opened this Gigabyte RX 570, so we are just going to deal with it. Here. And that is for the mask. So four screws, nothing fancy. Okay, let's try to move this. No, we don't have more screws, just be very careful when you're doing this because this is plastic and you can break something. So now disconnect connector for fans and you have released mask with fans. Let's put that aside and now we're going to take heatsink from the graphics card. Unscrew diagonally. I have learned you that already. And as I thought, thermal paste is dried out, so it holds this heatsink like a glue. So very carefully you want to Do this. We don't need you anymore in here. All right. Now first, let's check the PCB. So you want to remove all of the remaining thermal pads if they are stick with a VRAM. These are VRAM modules. Be sure to clean them out. You can use of course toothbrush. And be very careful while you're cleaning so you do not damage any part in here. Now GPU Now you want to use isopropyl to clean PCB and GPU. All right, not that much dusty. Now scissors and thermal pads. Remove plastic, don't forget to do that from thermal pads because if you don't remove, thermal pads are doing nothing. Two. So we placed thermal pads. Now let's clean heatsink. Look at it, it's shiny again. Now we want to remove this little bit of dust 
from the heat sink radiators. There is not a lot of that, but I would suggest that you use air compressor or the bottle compressed air to clean the dust out from the radiators. Or blowing them like me. All right. Okay, so before we clean mask with fans, <clears throat> we are going to put thermal paste on the GPU and connect it with heatsink. I want to clean GPU one more time. Don't hesitate to do that. If you see any dust or traces or from something, just clean it again. You want it to be shiny. All right, good as new. Now let's place thermal paste. So tiny grain. I don't know why my hands are shaking. All right, now we will place heat sink on the PCB. So. This is it, get these points where the screws goes, so you want to place it like that and now first you want to screw in these four screws and don't let the heat sink from your hand because it will not stay on the PCB until you screw it in, so hold it. First screw just for a bit, diagonally one screw, and you can now screw them in. No place rest of the screws all right these two ones that we have unscrewed first they are just holding heatsink all right and you are done with the PCB motherboard PCB from graphics card and heatsink. Now let's clean mask with the fans. This is a little bit dustier, so I'm going to use vacuum cleaner. Just hold it up a bit. So vacuum cleaner with his brush. All right, it's enough with vacuum cleaner. So let's take isopropyl and clean the rest of the dust. A little bit of toothbrush. All right, looks good to me. Front side, ah. we can use a little bit of isopropyl in here. All right, now let's place mask on the graphics card so <clears throat> so first you want to connect this connector all right so you have connected 
Fan. No, let's place this as it should go. Be sure to match holes of this plastic with the holes on the heatsink. And now screw by screw. Clean it up a bit. And as I said you, good as new one. That's it. We have finished cleaning Gigabyte RX 570 graphics card with 4 gigs of VRAM. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe on the channel. If you want to donate, you have a donor box link down there in the description. Nothing graphical in the description. And yeah, until the next time. Goodbye.